Hello, folks. Happy Saturday. Hello. Let's go on to the stream. Hey. Hi. Let me let me wave. Hi. <laughs> Welcome on in. Uh, hope you're all having a good weekend so far. Um, and before I continue, let me give a shout out to folks in chat tonight. That it looks like it's just Kija. Kija, you're definitely early and yeah. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. So yeah, today we are gonna continue on this set. Um, yeah, I just want to complete this as uh, soon as possible. And this might be a shorter stream than usual. Um, yeah, because I don't think I'm gonna do another set after this. Um, so yeah, uh, Kija says you're you starting 30 minutes early, caught me off guard again. <laughs> Well, it's not a Minecraft, Minecraft screen, uh, stream, so that's why I decided to just um, start early whenever I can. Um, most of the time, uh, the reason why I chose the timing for my Minecraft streams is also, number one, I'm trying to avoid um, the, the daily server restart. Um, and I want to give a buffer in case, like, hey, if I need to troubleshoot anything that happens after the server restarts, I have that half an hour to do so. Most of the time, it's not too big of a problem. I just need to manually kill it and restart it um, and make sure that mods and data packs are working. But for weekend streams in particular, um, uh, no, no, I think uh, the second reason why I chose that time is also it gives me about, uh, enough time um, after work and after dinner and for me to go and take a shower and do whatever I need. Because after stream, most of the time, I just hit the bed um, after doing all the basic turning down of computer and stuff like that. So I do have a bit of time. I give myself a bit of time after dinner. Um, so 8.30 actually has been quite comfortable for me. So that's why I chose that timing. For weekends, I'll have, however, but uh, it's kind of like, hey, I, I, I have my dinner early if I know I want to stream. And then I set everything up. And then particularly for Lego streams and for brick building, um, because this is not Lego, I need to clarify. I actually had to remind myself to remove the Lego tag from the stream um, stream description. But yeah, um, I need to have quite some time to set up the camera angle, to set up the lighting, make sure everything is fine. And then most of the time, uh, 8.30 is still usually the time. But if I can actually start early, I, I figured, you know, I might as well do it so. And most of the time, you notice that most of my brick building streams are actually longer than my Minecraft streams um, because they are more physical, even though they are, they are more physically more demanding, actually. <laughs> Um, because Minecraft, I just have to sit back and relax. Whereas there's a lot of ab movement <laughs> for brick building streams. <laughs> there's a lot of leaning forward, leaning back, uh, testing my eyesight and things like that. So yeah. And because this is, I expect today's stream to be slightly shorter. So I decided, you know what, tonight, um, this, this is something I decided uh, this afternoon. I have all the bricks um, left over that I haven't uh, for the rest of the steps. Inside this case here, I'm gonna do knolling. I'm going to go back to doing knolling, uh, partly because of how the instructions are being uh, structured. I think having done knolling is gonna reduce the amount of time and frustration that I have in trying to find each brick. Um, and yeah, I definitely will have some thoughts of this set after the stream. Uh, after I've completed, not after the stream, after I completed the set. Uh, so yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the close-up. I'm going to zoom out slightly. Oh. Okay. Just a bit more. Yep. Let's focus that. <coughs> so uh, you notice, hey, where's where's Jumbo's instructions? Uh, so I took my laptop stand. Uh, let me see if I can actually see. I have a laptop stand off to one side. And because my laptop stand is angled, so I decided to just uh, put my laptop aside. I'm going to use the stand and to display my instructions on a slanted angle so I can actually see it. Um, in case you're wondering, hey, how, where, where's Jumbo's usual instructions that's, that goes down here? Because this is uh, in paper form and because there are so many, so much steps, uh, and each step is in a different shape and size, I couldn't scan them and display them. 
on a PDF or whichever. So I, I, I decided to just forego that. Um, so yeah, uh, right now we have this set. Let me go over to this angle again. This is where we are currently at. Uh, we have the roof done. Uh, previously for the last stream, I didn't put this piece on top of here. So I just went ahead off stream to put this up, up here. Um, and it's looking, it's actually looking pretty complete. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the last stream as well, I mentioned, hey, uh, uh, I did two steps wrong. So off stream, um, <laughs> interestingly, um, during special hours um, <laughs> uh, that I actually fix up. So I actually put in the correct number of, uh, I think I missed out two, two brick. So I put that one in and uh, put the rest of these slanted slopes in. So yeah, uh, that is what I have done um, off camera to fix everything up. Um, the rest of it, I actually didn't do much. Um, this set already opens and closed like that. So yeah, it's looking actually pretty nice. Uh, just that, <laughs> to be honest, uh, just before this uh, stream, I was just thinking about like how um, uh, I hope this stream goes well. And my brain was filled with expli expletive. And I was like, okay, I need to get this out of the way. I definitely need to get this out of the way. So yeah, hopefully um, there is still a lot to do. Uh, hopefully the rest of the, 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 this, the a lot to do left um, it's gonna be smooth. Uh, so Kija is asking in chat, it looks finished, what's the left to do? Actually, there's a few more things left. Uh, there's some of these parts on top. Um, and then there's a little umbrella stand. Yeah, there's a little umbrella stand down here and there's some more of these sticker parts. I think there's still a few more things that goes on the... No, that's done. To be honest, I'm not too sure. But we are on step 32 right now. The last step of all the instructions is actually step 51. <laughs> or rather, it technically is supposed to be step 50. Step 51 just shows that it can be open and closed. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. There's still a ton of stickers left. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, oh well. Okay. Anyway, yep. So we're gonna just the instructions is very unwielding. Gonna have some thoughts after this. Okay, so let me place this map back here because I know this is gonna be my building space, um, which I keep forgetting last stream, and I keep doing things off screen here. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna move this to one side. Gonna take out all the parts and start knolling. Actually, that's not a good place to put that. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this where my mouse is, and then head over to here. Put this under my laptop stand. Okay. So we're gonna just do knolling as a start. I mean, it also helps me for the familiar familiarize myself with what bricks there are and yeah if you go back to watch the previous stream it's like uh where's that uh, uh is that where's that color where's that piece so yeah just gonna do this uh this is a new music playlist uh, it is by it is still by Stream Beats, but it is the house Hell House albums uh, that Stream Beats released this year. Um, let me know if it's too obnoxious. <laughs> I figured, hey Lego streams, I I think I want it slightly more energetic than my Minecraft streams. So yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's do okay. four pieces. Oh, oh, oh. Cup. Yo. 
Let me just skip this track. I think this track is a bit too, too much, too much for me. Okay. So I can tell what piece it is. Let's see if I put it vertical. Okay. This set, the bricks are smaller, which means they're going to be harder to maneuver. Maneuver as in having my fingers go in and take one, one piece without disturbing the other pieces. So yeah. I think a lot of these pieces will be used up in the cup that you saw. Um, one more piece here. Ooh. Put it the cup there. There's a mark actually. Okay, I need to uh, uh, just move these out of the way. Have any more? Okay. Put this one up here. This in here. Okay. Oh. Um, Kija says there's currently a world championships going on competitive Pokemon in Hawaii and there's a Finnish guy ranked 46 out of 106 qualified for the second day. Ooh! Congrats! Wow, I didn't know, uh, I didn't know there's competitive Pokemon. I mean, if Minecraft has competitive speed running, uh, I should have thought of that, but mm. okay. <coughs> okay. Are you watching the cha championship right now? Or is the second day over already actually? Pokemon is so high skill level. <laughs> it sounds intimidating with like the, the number of Pokemon out there. I did catch your conversation with Crimson during Crimson's stream where you all, where two of you were talking about the numbers. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> totally intimidating.
side. Um, let's see, only one's left at the wedges. Finnish guy was top 16 in 2017. Wow, wow. That is impressive. Holy. I guess this uh, Kija says this season he has made 6k in prize money for different tournaments <sighs> that is good, good money though I'm pretty sure he didn't do it for, it, for the money but you know. wait there are two different sizes of the cones or is it just no these are the same Looks slightly different the way I from my angle. Ah, illusion. Yeah, they're the same, the same size. What am I seeing? What what was I seeing? Okay, anyway. Hmm. Um. This season he made 6k just for and ended up 46 of 106. Wow. He would earn even more if he's higher. Is it? Is it? Is that true? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm uh, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with esports. Well, I'm I'm not I'm not into competitive anything, in, in fact. <laughs> Truth be told, I have to be, I have to be honest. Uh, Kijai says, I miss what you said. Uh, I mean, uh, if he made 6k for ranking 46 out of 106, uh, is he, it, will he be earning more if he ranks higher this year, this season? Is that a possibility or it, it's just... Um, something else i'm not very sure how how price money is calculated to be honest it's my ignorance i am i'm asking a very ignorant question <laughs> because I'm, I'm really not familiar with with this with esports or anything competitive in fact because uh, yeah i feel like anything competitive i just lose out so you know, i never go to, to find out more I don't want to become jealous as well. <laughs> if you get what I mean. Okay. He just says, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, oh, it's fine.
Let's do the pink color. that Pieces. Oh, you can't tell that's brown. Let me turn off that light like there. There we go. Now it looks brown. It's not white color. <laughs> It just says the person that wins the championships gets 30k. Woo! That's a lot of money. I could finish my home finishing with that amount of money. <laughs> right now. Oh. He just says second is 20k, third to and fourth is 15k, and fifth to eight is 10k. Wow. Uh, I'm too old. I'm too old to participate. Just says honestly, I would say anyone can participate. You just need to put in the time and effort. <laughs> True. I think that's what a lot of people are afraid to do. To invest the time and money and effort. That applies to myself actually, in fact. <laughs> Let me be clear. <laughs> I don't think I'm willing to 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 I say like I'm jealous and everything, but I'm like, uh, if you want me to put in the time and effort right now, uh, I don't know. 
Well, some people will say, hey, Jumbo, you're already investing time and money into something that doesn't earn, well, doesn't really have good returns on investment. <laughs> Streaming, but hey, I'm doing this for fun. Uh, I haven't got into Pokemon, so I'm not very sure whether I'll, I can do that for fun or not. So yeah. Also, I don't want to get sucked into the, the very scary um, what's the word? Uh, I can't remember. My brain, my streaming brain is not working tonight. Rabbit hole. The the term is rabbit hole. <laughs> Just like recently, I was like, okay, I need to I need to control myself. Uh, my TikTok has been doing uh, my TikTok has been doing its alg algorithming, and was like, hey Jumbo, there's a old records and plus antique shop near you. I'm like, no, do not tempt me. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time to build. There's not a lot of pieces left. Uh, so I, I'm guessing Kija is going to be right in saying that, yeah, there's not much left. I honestly don't know how, how long this stream will go, but if it takes one and a half hours, we'll just break and, 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 and end the stream there. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's switch over to the normal angle. We'll start off. Taking two of these pieces. Is this in focus? It looks very bright. Okay, give me a second. Um, maybe this will be better. Eh, not much. Okay, let me just turn this down. Or just a tad. Okay. Putting these two pieces together. Kidra says, I'm going to go down a rabbit hole for you and you might understand some of it. <laughs> what? Why? 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 Don't, don't do it for me. Don't do it for me. I feel stressed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take four of these. such a way that it's the same angle as the instructions. Maybe I'm just going to zoom in a bit more. There we go. Okay. Next step 34. We're going to take the low profile ones. Uh, Kija says... <laughs> No, no, you're teaching me co Pokemon tonight. <laughs> Basically, Pokemon has six stats. Health, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. <laughs> At least wait until I get my Switch 2. I'm definitely going to get a Switch 2. I feel like that is something that I feel I'm, I'm missing out on. I'm missing out on Zelda. I need some Zelda in my life. Okay. Have that. that covers the whole thing. <coughs> Is it actually in focus? Hope so. Okay, anyway. Uh, then we have five of these. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this goes in the center. I 
Oh no. I open up the Pandora's box. He just says each of them has a stat of 1 to 255, though the average is about 100. 255? Mm, okay. Um, the higher the base stat total, BST, the better the Pokemon, usually. I see. Recently, I've been reading up on Dungeons and Dragons. It sounds more or less like that. The different stat, the different values. Okay. Okay, we have this right now. I think this is supposed to be a coffee. All right, now I need to fold my page in another way. Am I correct? Okay, I need to make sure I'm on step 36, going to step 37. All right. Uh, all right, I need two of this the telephone pieces, two of the one by threes. Oh, this makes it so much easier than knowing. Okay. Two of these. Um, one, two, Kija continues with Pokemon also has an individual value for each stat from 0 to 31 and the higher the stronger and the higher value the stronger though you might want to have lower for certain cases wait so uh okay let me just read from the beginning um Pokemon has basically for Pokemon has six stats health attack defense so attack defense special attack special defense and then speed so speed and health are on their own and then each of them has a stat value of 1 to 255 with the average around 100 the higher the base stat total the better pokemon usually then the pokemon itself also has an individual value for each stat individual value i think that is where I, I i i'm lost in terms oh that means in uh the very the, within the class of our uh, like like all pikachus uh, each pikachu will have a diff different value for the iv is random got it got it got it so yeah like you have a two pikachus one has an individual value of this stat for uh, the, this number for this stat and the other one maybe so you have um, it's not like all P Pikachus will have the exact same speed or exact same health. It's just kind of like you have this IV modifier kind of thing. I see, I see. Okay, okay. The modifier being 0 to 31. Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like I really... Open up the Pandora's box here. because now I need to do a second piece 
uh, which is like so. I'm gonna lock the center piece first. Then I'm gonna place up, place the sides. You know what? I'm gonna change the music playlist. I think that is a bit too much for me. Um, gonna go with my usual. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Actually, you know what? go with the one that I played yesterday. I think yesterday, yesterday was nice. Okay. Um, Kija says you can train the, in the individual value IV higher, but you cannot get rid of them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Why would you want lower for certain cases? Is there a specific example? Okay, we have two of this up here. this yeah rotation ah Uh, Kija says you don't need the normal attack. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I missed all. So, okay, okay, so imagine you have a Pokemon that uses a special attack. You don't need the normal attack. Oh, okay. I think I sort of see where this is going. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. I need one of this, three of this, one of one by three, one piece of this. Dicky smack Whoa, oh. Hello there. Hello. Give me a second while I'll try to decipher. Dicky. Dicky smack. Smash. Dicky smack. <laughs> oh, a uh, Dicky Makini Nessie. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, Finnish Kiwi, also known as Kija, is just having a conversation with me about um, Pokemon while I'm doing a brick set. Uh, that is, this is not Lego. It's an off brand. This is supposed to be a part of the Singapore Heritage series. That is a Singapore local coffee shop. Um, this is by a company called Play Nation, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Play, Ma Play Nation. Yeah, this is the first time I'm doing this set from this kind of company. Usually I do build mo mostly Lego. Um, but yeah. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're well. Um, also, I think I missed out Tija's message. Um, Okay, so there's a Pokemon move called Foul Play that attacks using the opponent's... Oh wait, there's a Pokemon move called Foul Play that attacks using the opponent's own normal attack. To minimize the damage from that attack, you want to have lower stat in attack. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense right now. Uh, 
Can I call you Dikish? I hope that's okay. Uh, Dikish, how many pieces? How many pieces? I saw bunch of tiny parts. Yeah. Uh, actually, I should probably. This one is actually around six hundred plus. Give me a second. I cannot remember. Ah, yes, six hundred and fifty-one pieces. And these are actually smaller than Lego. Give uh, Give me a second. I'm gonna take out my spare parts box. So yeah, it's considered a medium set. Um, just that I would totally wouldn't recommend um, buying from them uh, in the future. Actually, I mean not until they actually make adjustments. So yeah, this is uh, I, I can actually just put it on my hands here and focus. Yeah. It's actually around two thirds smaller than a usual Lego size. So yeah, it's not quite nano brick, nano blocks yet. Uh, if you are familiar with nano blocks from Japan, so yeah, um, <laughs> looks like five millimeter. Say Dikish. This is so hard, bro. Like torture. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, mm. It is the torturous part is not so much the size because I have played nano blocks before and those are definitely more of a challenge. Uh, if I can actually, let me use the red brick actually. In fact, then. focus properly it's actually each start is around slightly more than five millimeter uh, so yeah slightly more slightly yeah I would say around six millimeter or so or maybe five five zero point uh five point five millimeters so yeah Definitely a challenge. Yeah, but the challenging part is not the small smallness of it. The challenging part is there are 651 pieces. So, you know, I'm not very sure whether you're familiar with Lego. Lego tends to break up into different bags. And um, so you have steps like 1 to 100, uh, 1 to 30, say, in bags 1. And then 31 to 60 in bags 2, so on and so forth. And then in this bag, I was expecting it because there were five bags in total. So I started building. And then I discovered the first step already requires pieces from all five different bags. So I have to dump them all out <laughs> and sift through the whole thing. And the previous stream, because I was kind of like tired, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do any knolling. This is called knolling. This, um, this like putting pieces uh, nicely organized so yeah um dikish said uh, very interesting hobby really <laughs> thank you <laughs> i just like it i think i am kind of i like lego from young and i'm kind of like a poor kid so i never bought any sets per se, uh, nice sets per se so now that i'm i'm grown up and old and earning adult money, you know, I just spend on all these things that I was deprived of <laughs> when I was younger. So yeah, um, Kim Tikish says, yeah, I met, uh, I meet a guy from here. He was building Lego from for two weeks. You must see the book's thickness. <laughs> yeah, they can, they can be quite thick. I do have a few of those. Um, but uh, yeah, I have been building some more other sets. Uh, I and I've been joking with my fo uh, some of my friends here on Twitch, um, folks who actually tuned in regularly. Um, like I actually have a backlog of Lego sets, actual Lego sets, not Play Nations. So yeah, I'm doing this set particularly because I just moved into a new place. And then, um, yeah, I thought this will look very... Because because I am a Singaporean, so I saw this in the supermarket. I was like, 
this looks like a very nice set to display in the kitchen where I have some older old school traditional Singaporean stuff around so I was like okay I'm gonna pick this up but uh, I won't say I regret it just that I'm uh, let's just say before the stream started um, as I was getting ready I had an expletive filled sigh that's, that that came into my head so yeah um, is it Korean or Chinese? Chinese, actually. I can read a bit of Chinese, so yeah. <laughs> I, well, I am a Chinese. I can read Chinese. <laughs> I don't. I, I shouldn't be too, like all humble about it. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see now. I'm supposed to place this here. Oh, let me put this brick back, actually want to confuse myself <laughs> but yeah uh, I should mention my Lego streams or brick building streams actually mostly Lego uh, my Lego streams normally happen uh, once or twice per month um, my regular streams are actually Minecraft uh, on Friday nights uh, uh, Fridays ar around the same time right now and yeah well I also like Minecraft partly because it's just digital <laughs> Lego <laughs> and I like to create stuff so yeah okay uh, let's see I gonna take this how, how do I attach it nope that's not how I attach it I guess it's like that oh yeah okay and then this goes on top of and this goes in like so okay uh, Dikish asks how long you working on this I mean this hobby uh, been a while I don't know I think I got back into Lego when I so uh, I started streaming how many years ago was that uh, maybe f three four years ago I cannot remember um, I started streaming and one of my first streams was Lego and I was like oh this is fun this is fun doing Lego on streams so I started doing that three four years but before that of course i still have some other lego sets that i built offhand but that was like once per year kind of thing but once i started going into doing streaming you know i started buying more sets and accumulating more sets <laughs> of course there was a period of uh, one year or so that i didn't do any lego streams so yeah uh did you say oh i love minecraft too did you play modded minecraft before like atm 9 steampunk take it too uh, I'm not too into modded, but my experience with modded is actually mostly from um, my server mates. We play on a server. Um, most of uh, it, it's a vi vanilla server that a group of us. It's a private vanilla, vanilla server a group of us set up, and then um, <coughs> there was a period of time where we did uh, one season of modded. Uh, the modded the. The mod pack was stone blocks, stone blocks, stone brick, stone block, stone block. I think it's stone block. Yeah, stone block. Was it two or is three? <laughs> Dikish says, "Oh, thanks, Kija. Um, modded stone block two. I was thinking three or two. It's one. It's the, the newer one, the newest one actually. And that's how I actually got to know." Kija, aka Finnish Kiwi in chat um, because he joined our server around that time that we started that mod modded series so yeah and that's uh, when we got closer relatively <laughs> I don't want to say we are close uh, Finnish Kiwi is actually Finnish so yeah just to have some context Uh, Kidra says it was free. Uh, check the archive. <laughs> uh, Dikish says stone block. Hmm, let me check. 
Oh, I saw this more pack. It's actually quite, quite fun. I would say that uh, I'm I I'm definitely intrigued with the whole modded series. I did a lot of research for 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 Stoneblock three. I also started do did the streaming for Stoneblock as well. Um, then yeah, just that uh, I I think it's kind of like a can I I I wouldn't say can of worms because it's a if it is a can of worms, it's a delicious can of worms. But yeah, as as I was talking to Kija earlier, um, it's just a rabbit hole that I, that I I'm not allowing myself to fall into. <laughs> I know Modder is fantastic. I loved all the create stuff that was going on. I I love playing with that. I love doing the K K Kija would know. Um, I did this whole like interface, um, storing items in this tablet thing and oh, oh gosh so yeah uh, it's the same as sky factory but at underground yeah it's basically the idea is there yeah uh, kija says my old computer just couldn't handle the mod pack uh, so i got annoyed and just played vanilla yeah more or less um that, that, uh, i uh, kija was telling me oh it, it's, yeah it's very it's very heavy and i think um yeah and as a server admin i was constantly struggling to keep the modded server alive so there's that <laughs> so i was like <sighs> if we want to do a modded another modded series i need to we, we need to upgrade the server um to a bigger one or have it as a separate um open up a separate account so that it has its dedicated dedicated resources because you definitely need a lot of ram for it so yeah um so okay uh incoming ad break i'm just being informed by my account um so um yeah uh bec because i don't want folks to come in and need to watch an ad and before they interact with me um i don't like that experience i would rather people come in uh and interact and see what what i'm going doing immediately so that's why i have the ads running for three minutes every hour um, don't worry, I'm gonna be taking a break. Uh, so feel free to stand up and stretch, go grab a drink, grab a bite, uh, and or go to the washroom. I'm doing all of this. Uh, that's why it's gonna take a while for me. Um, if not, uh, if you don't need to, feel free to hang out in chat. Uh, just, uh, yeah, folks are very nice here. Um, and if not, feel free, sit back, relax, and enjoy the music. I'll be back with you in to 15 minutes time maybe around 10 so yeah uh, so I'll catch you all later um, let me switch over to this screen this screen and let me bring out this set I think uh, I haven't showed off this right now so I'm gonna put this yeah. let me adjust the focus a bit more and yeah so gonna come back in 10 minutes time also see y'all later be right back
Hello folks, I'm back. Alright. Gonna move this off to one side again. In fact, I'm gonna put it down here. Um I'm not able to zoom in. Come on. Oh, this is the max. Alright. Just wanna make sure the Yep, it looks. And let's see. Um Dicky said before he went off, I have a Minecraft server and I learned to make the script. It was funny and computer friendly. Interesting. Uh, Kija replies, nah, the port is mostly my laptops. I remember that time you, that was your old laptop before you got the new one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kija uh, followed that up with, uh, I've got a new one and played some model on the side, but I still prefer <laughs> vanilla. Vanilla has a lot of things to do already, so yeah. I think right now I still have a long list of things to complete. Um, Dikish say, uh, asked uh, Kija if they use thermal paste for CPU uh, on the GPU. Kija replies, I didn't build it myself, it was store-bought to be used. Yeah, laptops are kind of... I'm not too familiar with Windows laptops anymore, to be honest. I, I did build my own PC, but uh, yeah, I, I think... It's a bit more finicky to work with. Um, Kija said, oh, oh uh, before I continue, continue with that, uh, Dikish said, I'll be right back, I need to work, so sorry, no, pro no problem. Um, I hope I'll be back 13 minutes. Soon. No problem, no problem at all. Uh, Kija says, I'm back to playing Vault Hunters. I think I'm that, uh, that is not too much my cup of tea. I, I mean, uh, Kija, you have seen me playing. Um, uh, the trial chambers and I get all flustered and panicky so yeah <laughs> Vault Hunters yeah not my cup of tea but yeah I can see the appeal definitely okay let's see now I need to place these in a uh, This goes here, followed by this. Oh, I'm still on the be right back screen. Okay, there we go. All right, thanks, thanks, Kija. Okay, all right. I'm gonna lock these pieces in for now. Oh, oh. Hello, Saturn. Thanks for redeeming the drinking ASMR. Cheers. <coughs> All right. Three sips. It's very cute. All right, step 40 done. Let's go on to 40. Where's 41? Dang it. 41 is a sticker step. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Very 
cute. It looks like a very traditional old school Singapore coffee cup. Okay. Step that's step 41. I need to go to step 42, which is down here. Ah! these instructions. Ah. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Okay. Uh, I need to put the sticker on the other side as well. But there's some bricks I need to add as well. Okay. Saucer. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna put this off to one side. And step 43 looks like a big one. Oh, I hate these instructions. All right, um, two pieces of this, three pieces of this, two pieces of this. Four pieces of this. Four of the one by twos, and I can't pick them up with one hand. Okay. Uh, Kisha says I'll try to make the to the rest of the Pokemon talk quick. <laughs> You're still trying to get me educated on it, huh? Okay. Uh, one piece of that, and two pieces of one by one. All right, okay. Uh, let's see now. Take one piece of this. Plonk it on top of here. We have this here. Oh gosh. Uh, Kija continues. Some Pokemon also want to move slower than opponents or your other Pokemon. Comp Pokemon. Com competi com competitive Pokemon is played in duos, aka each player has two Pokemon on the field to pull off some strategies. Oh! Oh! It's like, oh, I should probably just mark this as complete. It's like badminton kind of thingy. You have somebody in the front of the court and somebody towards the back of court, and there's some strategy about how people move around in the. Okay. I I I, I can I can understand that. I'm using that to relate to video games. <laughs> So you want somebody with a different stat to handle different things. And not necessarily, uh, uh, speed is n may not be the priority, depending on the kind of strategy you're going for. I, 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 I get that, I get that. So I can't get, seem to get this in. Why? Hello? There we go. All right. Ow. <laughs> okay. Ugh. The sound is back. A very low tolerance sound, which I don't like. Uh, this piece goes up here. Okay. 
and we have a piece of bread. A second kija okay there we go and flip over to the other side I need to get the one with a notch Hey, we have our piece of bread. All right. Uh, Kija says, bet besides individual values, Pokemon can have EVs or effort values. The total amount of effort values is 510. With one stat having a limit of 252. You can pretty much play around with them as you wish. You get um effort values by either defeating pokemon or giving them effort value increasing items the my question to you is all these values from just now the base value ba base stat of like one two two five five and then in uh iv of one two thirty one do you remember all these numbers or Well, I, I think after I've said that, after I've asked that question, I've re realized that, hey, you have been playing the game for so long. I think these numbers just come naturally to you, right? I mean, in, like similar to how I play Minecraft. Hey, one chest is 27 and, 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 and 27 stacks, each stack is 64. Some of them can be 16, blah, 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 blah. And all these numbers just roll off. Um, uh, Kija says I've been around the space so that I can remember most of the numbers <laughs> I can imagine I can totally imagine but I, I, I have to say just now uh, I don't have a face cam on me uh, while I was reading that my, but my face was like frowning <laughs> like 510 we start having a limit of 200 with one stat I was like, one stat, which, what, mm? uh, Then I was like, oh, maybe that's just one stat that is just specific. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. I need this up here. Pieces. Here. so difficult to stack on top of each other. Okay. Okay. This in. You can hear the plastic. Uh, Kira says to top all these stat changes, each Pokemon has a nature which that can be changed that determines one non health stat 10% increase and one non health stat 10% decrease. By the way, I, I'm blinking. <laughs> Okay, okay, I, 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 I think I, I, I sort of understand where that come from, where, what that means. Kind of like, oh, uh, if it's fire, I believe it's kind of like this, the, the fire Pokemon is the nature or something like that, which actually means, uh, oh, hey, hey uh, it's that increase to something, something, and then decrease uh, if it's uh, attack of something, something, something. I'm guessing. <laughs> Come 
morning, Rokota. How dare you? How dare you scare me while I'm placing stickers? <laughs> Luckily, it's still aligned. It's still aligned. Also, hi. I'm surprised. Uh. Hello there. Rokota says that was the goal. <laughs> Evil. Uh, Kidra says nature is random with no connection to the Pokemon species of type. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, to Rokuta, uh, Kija is trying to educate me on Pokemon. We started off talking about competitive Pokemon. I think <clears throat> I'm not very sure whether there was a right decision <laughs> okay I'm gonna mark that as completed okay um, I need to plonk this in that's cute uh, Kija says also missed one message above that oh oh uh, there's also neutral natures which work by giving the increase decrease to the same stat uh. <laughs> I like Rokuta's latest message. I'll teach you about competitive Pokemon. Don't. <laughs> uh, no, it was not voluntary. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> just, just, just for the record, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> okay, I'm on step forty-four. Um. Right. Okay. Uh, bring back my set and then I have a little bird here that's supposed to go here on this corner he just says that's a good strat <laughs> you know sometimes we, 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 we don't need to we don't need to force ourselves to do things for the price money, even though it's good money. It doesn't feel correct. Give, give me a second. I'm going to look at the box. Oh, huh. okay. I thought it would look a bit more angled. Oh. Oh. I just... I did a boo-boo. Um. Hmm. This looks nothing like... Did I miss a step? No. Hmm. Uh, Kija says besides stats, uh, by the way, I was I'm complaining about how this looks very aligned, whereas in the picture it looks slanted. This piece looks slanted. says besides stats you need to decide on the four moves that Pokemon has the ability usually one to three options and then help item but that's like the short version of stuff hopefully you know less than you <laughs> I know more than I knew before I mean I have watched 
I have watched uh, Crimson play before, just that sometimes I don't know what is happening. That is not correct. This doesn't fit there. Oh. This works, even though it's blocking the, well, hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, Kidra says, I've been thinking of getting a capture card for my Switch. <laughs> You're gonna go down the rabbit hole. All right, let me move this off to the side. Step to step forty five. Okay. Um, I need one piece of this, one piece of one by four, one piece of two by three, four pieces of this. on this page is really ridiculously bad. Okay, one of this and one of this. Um. Oh, hey Dikish, welcome back. <laughs> uh, Rokota says you are a 12 year old kid going around with a monster you've been given that's crammed into a small ball and you go around capturing other monsters in small balls most of whom would forever be in the ball and then you force the monsters to fight against the whale <laughs> <laughs> that much I know about Pokemon thanks <laughs> And what a succinct way to, to say to 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 to, to put that. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh let's put this lamp door. in the way. Dang it. Yeah. Rotate the flower. Okay, I'm just gonna try. Oh, I get why why. Mm. Okay. Okay. Street lamp is in. Putting this aside again. And then I need to do this. <laughs> Rukuda says, that's it. That's the game. <laughs> uh, Kija asked Rokuta, did you get the Gibi goals? Rokuta says, no. Line, miss a line. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. I hate this sticker. Uh, DQ says, guys, thank you for chat. I need to go. Have a nice day. You have a good day too. Take care. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Um, this goes. Oh, these are eggs, by the way. I think so, uh, this this will be alarming to I think like most Western countries, but in Singapore we actually eat our eggs raw since young. We actually have like raw eggs that we put some pepper in, just put some soy sauce. And then we just slurp it down. Sometimes we actually use it as a dip for our toast as well. So there, yeah. Um, Kija says, I found a um, MC video on Twitter. I'll send it to you, Jumbo. MC as in Minecraft? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna open up Discord. Oh. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep that on unread. I'm going to watch that after the stream. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I think, think that's most of the stickers used up. I think there's still one more. All right. I think that's the base. Yeah, that's the base set done. Hey, finally. Okay, we have completed step 45 we're on to 46 of 50 we're very close to the end um all right let's put it off to one side um okay one of this one of this and This goes in the center of the other side, and this most probably goes, goes in the center. I think, yep. Like so. Alright. And then next we have one of this, one of this. No, two of this. Um, one cup. And one of this. Okay. Um, this goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then one more sticker. Okay, um, this goes here. This goes in the center with the two seats off to one side. That's pretty cute so far. Okay, step 48. This goes in the center. And 
Let's go. Uh, Kitra says, oh, I went to get pizza yesterday after you locked out. Pizza Friday! I, I can't remember the key, uh, finished word that you mentioned. But yeah. I remember. It starts with P as well. Per something. But I cannot remember what word it is. So yeah. That's cute. I like this. Okay. Uh, and the last step... Step 49, take one of this, put the newspaper. Pajantai. Thanks, Kicha. Okay, we have the cute little newspaper yeah. per jantai okay sorry okay let's lean the uh. jump on the floor no. all right i'm i'm okay i am okay Finish is weird. I know. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Looks like that's done. Let's put that, put the whole thing in, and I'm gonna fold up the unwieldy instructions right now. I put the. There's a lot of parts left over. Um, just gonna do that. Look at that. That's a lot of parts. Huh. There's even like spare window pieces. And spare VR. I don't know where I'm gonna store this, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't want to have to dedicate a whole box to it. Uh, most probably I'll try to find a small Ziploc bag, put it together and put it in with some of these. Um, but yeah, it needs to be in its own little ziplock bag. But yeah, this is the set. Uh, let me just see if I can... Yeah. <laughs> Kitra says, but it's the truth. Finish is weird. Okay. Yep. Actually, it looks not too bad after it's built. Uh, I can see some of the flaws in here. But yeah. I like that it's actually it's you can actually flip it open. Oh, okay. Okay. That is the traditional coffee shop of Singapore. Set by Play Nation. It opens up. I'm not gonna lie, it's it does look good once you built it, but uh, the building process, yeah, definitely not the most enjoyable building process. Um, so yeah, um, okay. If I want to give notes, I would say don't get this set. Um, and if 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 Play Nation is uh, is somehow somehow watching this, because yeah. There's a few things I, I would change. Um, but before I mention those, I want to just clarify. Yes, from a business point of view, I understand. I've done this kind of things before. You're looking to build an MVP. You're looking to build a minimum viable product. This is one of your first sets. Um, you don't have the budget to, to print specialized parts. You need all the stickers that I understand. I think the stickers are not one of the worst things in this set. But I think you need to think about the build experience. To Play Nation, here are the things I might change. Number one, you need to think about 
who your audience is. Because this set is definitely not an H6 plus set. <laughs> I wouldn't give any of my friends whose kids are 6 years old this set. This is at least a 16 plus. Have you ever seen any toddlers whose hands... Look, to think about the kids whose toys from 6 years old to 10 years old, they have that bucket where you're supposed to put shape inside and notice how big the space is. Basically, you're building a set with the, the holes of this size. <laughs> no. No, Play Nation. No. So, yeah, number one. This is definitely not a 6 plus set. So you can actually aim to do more planning for the whoever is building this. You have you can assume that whoever's, whoever's doing this has better grasp of brick building. Which means you should actually not put all your instructions on one piece of paper. This is itself not a six plus already. So, Rokoda says I'm biting my tongue on an Asian joke. So, yeah. Next, please don't do this. If you want to do this, fine. On your instructions, please include a QR code where I can actually download a PDF off of a website where I can at least view it maybe on my phone maybe on my iPad or something like that so that I can actually zoom in to see which brick it is and then number three this may be kind of like a long thing if for the next set if you want if I understand why you you have your bricks all in five bags I understand this is your minimum min minimum viable product you don't have the budget to split them split the bricks up into the correct bags then if that is so don't bother bagging it up number two design smaller sets next <laughs> please design smaller sets don't this shouldn't be your first set your first set should be one of those um, stone chess tables that we used to have at the, bo at the void decks of our apartment flats. You know those? Th those small decorative things. So each set should be less than, say, 200 pieces or even 100 pieces. Sell them for $5.99, um, $9.99. It's fine. Don't do big sets if you can't create a good user experience. And number four, this is speaking to the executive person that the designer of this set answers to. You are an idiot. <laughs> you are the one who's telling your designer, can you not do it? Can we not spend money on, on blah, 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 blah? Nobody's gonna care. No! Executive, producer, yes. You are Hello in. there. Hi Crimson, sorry, I'm, gi I'm giving a rant to the people at Play Nation right now. <laughs> so, yes, the executive producer of the designer who designed this, if you're the one who says that, let's not create a. a, a yeah, this is just a minimum viable pr pr product. We are just testing market. Um, uh, don't bother with the bagging. Uh, can we keep the cost low by giving a paper product? You know what? You're an idiot. <laughs> if you already have these assets, do you know how easy it is to just put it in a PDF? <laughs> do you know how unwieldy this thing? So yeah, Play Nation, I, already, I know you already have a second set out and you are in, in development of your first set. Please, number one, release a PDF of this and have each step in its own on its own page not in this big unwieldy thing 
I don't care too much about having too much stickers, but at least not have like small little bits. This is number five. Most probably is for the number five. Uh, number five to the designer. Please, 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 please. You expect six year old to put this sticker onto cups this small? <laughs> Accurately? How? Why? <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I think, yes, to the designer, I must say, this is a very nice piece. This is a very nice set. I love, I love how it turned out to be. I, I definitely loved it. But the building experience, because of what your producer, what your boss actually tells you, the limitations of what your boss tells you, So yes, Singaporean bosses, yes, I, be I know you all are fixated on minimum viable products, but your products are directly competing with high-end, good quality, good experience, good user experience, Lego and whatnot. You, if you're creating a new market, yes, minimum viable product is totally the case. But if you are trying to create a product to, which is in, com in direct competition with somebody else or some other companies, you need to match, if not exceed, all the other stuff. And if this is definitely going to be a minimum viable pr pr product, just release these things like that. People will pay like $4.99, $5.99 for something like that. Maybe not four ninety nine or five ninety nine. Maybe maybe one ninety nine, two ninety nine. But you know, get the volume up first. When you have the volume, then you come up with bigger sets, and then you can try more intri intricate designs. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> but okay, that's <sighs> rent over. <laughs> Sorry, the the. The, 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 the corporate in me just have to say it out loud because I know this is a Singaporean company, I know this is a small company and, and, and they're ju just trying to dip their toes into something new but I think they're approaching it in a, in a way that is that the top boss has an excuse to say nah, there's no market out there, let's just drop it. I know, these are typical Singaporean leaders, company leaders who will do this. So yes, <clears throat> I just need to speak my mind, so yeah. Crimson says it's basically impossible to compete with the quality of Lego. I know, the pieces of Lego is very difficult, uh, definitely gonna be difficult. But I think in terms of building experience, there's definitely some ways that people can, uh, these smaller companies can improve. I mean, if you think about it, the knockoffs, the Lepin, Lepin have instruction manuals that are in booklets, not this. <laughs> And yeah, uh, and I, mm, I mm, oh, okay, rent over, rent over. And until there is maybe in a year's time when, when they release newer sets, I might revisit them when I, I did see their second set, which is very nice as well. It's a very well designed set. Um, you c to, the, to, to Play Nation, yes, your designs are unique. Yes, your end products look pretty nice, but your user experience of building them shouldn't turn people off. And you should not target 6 plus. And if you're targeting adults, please <laughs> take a step back and think about what you're doing. Okay? <laughs> oh, okay, that's all. I love this set. I, I love the end product. I think I'm gonna be proudly displaying it. But uh, am I gonna be bu building more, buying more Play Nation sets in the near future? Mm. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> I don't have the this desk space, dedicated desk space to lay out all five bags of bricks. <laughs> I mean, I did, did uh, just for Crimson. Hi, Crimson, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Uh, Crimson says, wow, I love not getting notifi notifications from Twitch. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not very sure. 
but anyway, yeah, today, uh, because I know this is going to be a short stream, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to know everything out, and then the building experience was drastically better. I mean, I've used up like 75% of the bricks already anyway, so yeah, I think it occupies maybe just this space here. That is much better, but yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh, Rokuda say, oh yeah, by the way, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Saturn says, egg eyes, yeah, they're pretty cute, right? And the toes behind, and this is the cup of coffee, so yeah. Um, Rokuda says, Jumbo is saving all the money from these streams to buy the Mel Lego Millennium Falcon. I, I, mm. <laughs> uh, depending on which Millennium Falcon you're talking about, but you know what? This is the mini one, by the way. I don't have the full size, full size one, but I did get myself the yeah. <laughs> ah, don't draw. Okay. <coughs> but yeah, <laughs> eight hundred dollars one. I don't know. I don't have the space to display it. I mean, it would be a dream. It would be a dream to get it. Yeah. Uh, Crimson says, oh, wait, I just realized why I didn't get a notification sign. It's locking on my phone. <laughs> I don't have notifications turned on for your channel for sign. Uh, the $800 one. Uh, we'll see. I don't think we'll get there anytime soon. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's more or less about it. Uh... There's still 8 minutes to the next ad, so I'm going to end it before the next ads run. This is going to be a short stream. Uh, what is this? How long have I gone for? Just less than 2 hours? So yeah. Uh, I'm not going to start another set, by the way. So yeah. Crimson says it's not $800 for Jumbo. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, when Rokuda says 800, I assume it's USD 800, so it will be roughly around 1,000 to 1,003 Singapore dollars for me. It will be around the same for Crimson as well. Singapore dollar and Australian dollar is around there. It's 1,350. <laughs> when I strike lot lottery, I guess. For the record, I don't play lottery. So... <laughs> yeah. So what I'm saying is maybe it's close to impossible. So yeah. Uh, jump, uh, Rokuta says Jumbo get a plexiglass board and add four hooks at each corner so the falcon is suspended in air <sighs> that is such a good idea oh my god <sighs> uh, no no <laughs> that's how you store it no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to resist from buying any more Lego sets um, until I cleared out another. I'm good. If I buy a set, I'm gonna build a set. So that is how I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm I don't I'm not even think about it right now. No, no, not the 1,350 Millennium Falcon. I think by the time that I actually save up enough money for that. Before that, I need to, I want to travel first, definitely. I'm saving up to travel. I'm saving up for the last few pieces of furniture that I have. I I still need for my home. Why well, I was, I won't say need. I, I would say highly want. Um, like ex extra bookshelves, um, or whatnot. Um, then after after that, I want to do a travel. I, I to travel. I don't want to do a travel. I want to do a trip. I want to travel. Yeah, I just somehow my brain just linked them up. Um, then after that, yeah, maybe do a bit more tech, things like that. I still need to get a new desk so that I can do my cable management. I think it would be fun to do cable management on stream. Mm, I don't know. Either that or, yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Rukuda says, all right, time for me to gather more ancient debris. I got almost nine stacks of debris last night. Crimson says, what places would you travel to? Uh, not finalized yet. 
Australia is definitely in one of the consideration. But also in consideration is my second home, aka Taiwan. <laughs> I might want to just travel back because like wherever I travel back is like going back to us. Going back home, so it's either that because I won't need to do any planning. I can just get off the ground running and things like that. Um, but Australia, I will need to do more homework, and yeah, most probably I'll need to save up a bit more money as well because um, yeah, it will be more expensive. Um, tickets, airfare tickets is actually roughly the same. Um, so yeah, to Taiwan and to Sydney, if I'm not wrong. So yeah. Anyway, um, ad breaks come incoming. I'm not. I'm gonna stop stream before that. Um, you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Have a good uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I'll see you all next Friday for Minecraft. And yeah. Uh, as for Lego streams, I might do one. I will do one um, at the beginning of. September. Most probably it will still be a Saturday. Um, yeah, Saturday. I'll see when that happens. So, uh, one of the first few Saturdays of the the month of September, and I need to decide which set I want to build. Um, yeah, that's more or less about it. You all take care. I'll see you all next time. Have fun. Bye bye.